Hey, what's up guys? Today, July 31st, is the funeral of the slain five from Coco Peace in Clarendon. Mm-hmm. Rashid Barnett claimed he unleashed his words on his cousin Kamisha Wright and her four children because she disrespected him in front of her customers. In his caution statement, he had reported that before the incident, he was serving two men in Kamisha's shop when she grabbed the money and told him not to assist any more of her customers. He also claimed that she splashed water in his face. According to him, since that incident, his cousin's attitude towards him changed and here lies the reason behind the gruesome murders that has rocked the nation. Also in his caution statement, Barnett said that on June 20, about midnight, they were at home when Kamisha told him to lock the gate and he told her he heard a vehicle. He said his cousin checked and indicated that she did not see anything. According to him, he looked at her and she looked at him. He said she reached for something on the dresser, but he did not see what it was. However, he said, but he thought it was a knife or a scissors. And he said he reached for a knife that he had and quote end quote, stabbed her up. He also added in his caution statement that at the time when he attacked her, she was holding her children. After that, he said two of her children rushed to the dresser and started throwing things at him and he advanced at them and stabbed them. According to him, when he thought everybody had died, he ran off and threw his shorts and the knife over the side where a Aki tree was located. The post-mortem report showed Kamisha Wright, the mother, had 48 stab wounds to her neck, chest, abdomen, and limb. 23-month-old Kishan Henry Jr. had 11 stab wounds inclusive of a wound to his neck. 5-year-old Raphaela Smith had 5 stab wounds and a wound to the upper neck. 12-year-old Sarah Lee Smith had 22 stab wounds and 2 scratches. And 15-year-old Kimanda Smith had 4 stab wounds and 9 cut wounds. The pathologist said that the victims died as a result of hemorrhage, shock, and multiple sharp force injuries and throat injury. Veteran mortician Trevor Witter said that preparing the bodies of the slain mother and her four children has been the most difficult task he had to face in his life. He said it has left him very emotional and heartbroken. He said, quote, the process was lengthy, with a lot of time spent embalming and sewing up wounds. It's been traumatic for the team because it involves kids and we're human. It's the first we've had a mask murder like this in the parish that we had to deal with. Thank you.